What do you do when you get an alert from your leak center about a potential flooding situation in your house? And you're at work or worse still, you're away on vacation? Let's explore two smart solutions that attempt to tackle this problem. The Accra T1 valve controller and the Moenflow shuttle valve, each with its own strengths, and I'll share my own specific use cases for each of these products. Akara and Moen have taken two completely different approaches to tackle this problem. Let's dive into their key strengths and weaknesses, starting with the most obvious, which is the price. The Akara shuttle valve costs roughly around 100 Canadian dollar, while the Moen flow shuttle valve, significantly more expensive, costs around 700 Canadian dollar. Installation is another key difference between these two units. The Moen flow shuttle valve is an inline system. What that essentially means is that you have to install it in between your water main lines. So if you're not comfortable with cutting plumbing pipes and crimping pipes, then you might want to get a plumber out there to help you install this system. However, the Akara T1 has taken a retrofit approach. It is built to work with existing shutoff valves. It supports butterfly and lever style shutoff valve. But if you have the twist style shutoff valves, Unfortunately, this will not work for you, so you might have to replace your shutter valve or go with the flow by Moen instead. For pipe sizing, the Akara T1 works with half inch, three quarter and one inch pipe and comes with attachments for all these different sizes. It also comes with attachments for the butterfly or the lever style shutter valve. In my setup, I have the butterfly and I have the lever style, but the setup I want to use the Kara T1 valve for is not quite a butterfly, neither is it quite a lever style. However, I'll be using the butterfly attachment because it is the closest fit for this setup. The butterfly attachment comes in three separate pieces and needs to be assembled using the provided screws. You also need to replace the pre-installed lever with the butterfly lever. Be careful not to over tighten the knot as it could restrict the movement of the arm. For the pipe, you can choose either the clamp or the screw on strap. I used the clamp with the included spacers and secured it with the screws and allen key. When clamping the T1 to your valve, ensure the bolts on the T1 align directly above the center of the shutter valve. This alignment maximizes torque efficiency, making it easy to turn the valve. Misalignment can increase the force required to turn the valve and may cause damage. After securing the T1, insert the included AA batteries, power on the unit using the button and pair it up to the Akara app. Akara states that the battery life can last up to two years, which is convenient but still require occasional monitoring. Once paired, it can be integrated with smart home systems like Apple, Google and Amazon through the Akara app. Now let's talk about installing the Moen flow. The flow shut off should be installed on your main water line, right after the water meter. In my case, I had a one inch unit but needed a reducer to fit my three quarter inch PEX pipe. Make sure to shut off the water before cutting the pipe and use the provided O-rings and grease to ensure a watertight seal. The flow is installed in line, meaning the pipe goes in on one end and comes out on the other. This design allows it to measure water flow, pressure and temperature while also enabling the system to shut off water in case of a leak. Since it's a more involved installation, you might need a professional help if you are not comfortable with plumbing work. One key consideration with Akara T1 is automation. To truly automate the system, you will need to pair it up with the Akara leak sensors. Without them, the T1 becomes more of a manual solution. You will need to turn it off and on yourself. In contrast, the Moen flow functions independently. It doesn't require additional sensors to operate and it comes packed with features because it's installed inline. The Moen flow constantly monitors your water usage down to the liter per gallon. It tracks water temperature, pressure, and even identifies potential leaks and micro leaks. This level of detail allows it to alert you to issues before they escalate. Power is another key difference between these two units. The Akara T1 uses AA batteries, making install location quite flexible. Akara claims that the battery life on this unit will last up to two years, but you need to monitor them. If the battery dies, that's exactly when a leak might happen. Trust me, I've been there before. The main flow on the other hand requires a power outlet. While this ensures constant power, it could be an issue during a power outage. I've mitigated this issue by plugging the main flow into my UPS, which is the uninterrupted power supply. Plus, the Moen system will flood you with emails, texts, and calls if the device goes offline, so you will know immediately. When it comes to smart home integration, the Akara T1 uses Zigbee, 
So you need a Zigbee hub like the Akara M3 hub or a G3 camera. This hub supports Mata and can act as a Mata bridge, meaning the T1 can be exposed to all the major smart home ecosystems like Apple, Google, and Amazon through Mata. The Moen Flow, on the other hand, uses Wi-Fi, so no additional hub is needed, just your Wi-Fi connection. However, its integration is more limited, only supporting Google and Amazon ecosystem or its dedicated Moen app. So why am I considering the Akara T1? While I have no intention of replacing the Moen flow shutter valve with a T1, because obviously the Moen flow shutter valve is a much better system in terms of all home water management, the Akara T1 feels a different need, my garage. This past summer, I installed a pressure washer system in my garage. Now this is supposed to allow me to be able to use this year round. But in Canada, we don't have nice weather year round. Recently, I was away in the Caribbean and I forgot to shut off my valve and the temperature dropped to negative 25 degrees. This caused all of the pipes to freeze up and I had forgotten to shut off the valve. Luckily, I was able to escape this one and my pipe did not burst in this scenario. But the Akara T1 could help me solve this problem by automatically shutting off the valve every time the pressure washer is not in use. So I'm going to be using the T1 valve in this scenario to solve that problem. If you're situated in regions with warmer climate like Florida where shutter valves tend to be typically located outside, this unit unfortunately are not outdoor rated. If you need to take manual control of your shutter valve with these systems in play, with the Moen flow you can actually just turn the shutter valve that's located right in front of the unit to open or close the valve. With the Akara T1, there's a push button that you can push to release the lock mechanism. This allows you to be able to rotate the shutter valve and control it manually as well. One area the Akara T1 could potentially fail is with rusty valves or stuck valve. When valves are left in an open or closed state for an extended period of time, especially with weather changes, they could be stuck, which means they require a little bit more torque than the Akara T1 might be able to provide to actually break it free. If this happens and a leak occurs, the T1 might not be able to shut off the valve, thereby leading to failure in preventing damages. One way to prevent this is to do something called exercising of the valve. This basically requires you to set up automations to open and close the valves at regular intervals. However, this might not be possible if you're using it in a scenario like shutting off your sprinkler system, because in the winter months, you don't want to open up the valve to your underground sprinklers until summer months. The Moen shutter valve is not susceptible to this problem because it is the shutter valve. It replaces the shutter valve completely. So it is responsible for actually opening and closing its own valve. While I was doing my research online, I ran into people making complaints about the valve not closing or opening all the way. Some say it only closes about 90% or 95% on the way. Now, one thing I've noticed with the Akara T1 valve is that if you don't tighten it very well, you're gonna lose about 5% in the turn because it would self twist first. And then once it starts to rotate the shut off valve, you've already lost that 5%. So it doesn't make it all the way to the end. People with these problems have suggested using additional reinforcements to bolt down the T1 valve to your PEX pipe. So that way there is no movement at all on the valve. If you're having this problem, give it a try. If it doesn't work, do you have other tricks? Leave it down in the comment section. Unfortunately, I'm unable to replicate this problem because my own shutter valve is relatively new. So movement of the shutter valve is still very fluid and easy for the T1 to turn. I also open and close my own valve more frequently so I wouldn't have the situation of a stock valve or a rusty valve because I use those shutter valves multiple times a year, year round. Both the Okara T1 and the Moen Flow shutter valve are great water management system depending on your budget, price point and the features you're looking for. The Moen Flow is not ideal for all scenarios because of the price point, its requirement for power outlets, its lack of flexibility for install locations and its need for constantly cutting pipes which might not be an option in some scenarios. This is where the Akara T1 comes in. Because of the low cost nature of the Akara T1 and its ease of install, this allows you to be able to use it across different parts of your house, like in your bathrooms, for your sprinkler systems, for your outdoor hose babes, or in my case, my pressure washer. Just thing can be moved around everywhere. And if you're a renter as well, this will be a very valid and solid option for you. So that way, when you're leaving the house, you can take up your system and take it with you without making any significant modification to the property. If you're interested in checking either products, I've included links to those products down in my description. Let me know what you think about this video. Do you like it? Do you find it useful?
leave comments down in the comment section i'll catch you guys in the next one